Hey, it's me in the flesh, and I'm here. <laughs> I can't intro talking about my flesh, can I? But I can speak about someone else's flesh. What do I mean by that, you ask? Well, there's too many hornballs on the loose, too many people stroking their salami whilst they're on Tinder, Bumble, any dating website, pretty much. Their blood is not in their brain, let's put it that way. Which results in weird messages. The post-nut clarity must go crazy. After they send some of these, they're like, oh, the fuck did I just do? Start seeing different colors and stuff, like, like poot and crumb. So we're going to be having a look at some of these hornballs and decide if they need locking up or not. Because I'm in charge. Boner police. Can I name this boner police or is that not allowed? Probably not allowed. Well, I am the boner police. I'm the boner patrol. And it... <laughs> you can only be the boner patrol with one though. So I will not be standing up all video. Anyone tell you that you make my nightmares reality? Reality? Did he just correct something that was right? You look like Annabelle because you're, you're one scary chick. But you probably give good fucking head. <laughs> Rip job for rim job. Rim. <laughs> what? What? First of all, sending it in seven separate messages is crazy and insane. And what you're set and it just gets progressively worse. The first sentence doesn't even make sense. Has anyone come up to you and to tell you that you make my nightmares a reality, by the way? Has anyone walked around and said, specifically, my nightmares are now a reality because of you? And then just says you look like Annabelle because you're one scary chick. And then ends up asking to trade rims. You want to trade rim jobs? I feel like I'm playing Minecraft. You go up to the villagers and the villager hits you with a, Her. I offer three emeralds in return for one rim job. <laughs> Do you accept? Well, the option is just rim job for rim job. <laughs> Actually, I've just ruined Minecraft for myself. Hello, Kaylee. What is it you wanting on this? Oh, okay. Because I'm trying to be all over you. <laughs> Love my ass. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that would be my response as well. How separate were these messages over the course of a day? First of all, to be topless in your profile picture is crazy anyway. You're actually covering your face with your phone. <laughs> So you're basically just selling your rig. Your body is on Tinder. You're not on Tinder. Your body is. Hello, Kaylee. What is it you are wanting on this? Hmm? What on this is it you're wanting, huh? <laughs> what part of this are you wanting? One of these? One of these cough drops? Oh, okay. No response. He's like, oh, okay, because I'm trying to be all over you. You're missing out. Oh, okay, sure. I won't be all over you then, huh? Okay, I won't give you... Rest you in between my teats. It must be so entertaining to be a woman on any dating profile. And, sc and scary, actually. I guess. Half of it's terrifying, half of it's entertainment. Do you like raisins? Only in trail mix or on celery. What the fuck? There's more options, surely. You could have it in chocolate and you in trail mix or on, on celery, is that a thing? What about dates with Riz in brackets? What's, that's brain rot in a message. Bah ha ha ha. Oh, that was so cheesy. Lamau, I'm glad it worked. <laughs> Who uses that emoji and what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it worked. Hey, so like, I think you're very attractive and I can't talk to people that look like they peg me, but I, what? <laughs> I can't, but I can't, can I finish the sentence? But I'd also love to take you, oot, oot, where are you going, oot? <laughs> okay, I like how, how he's like, oh, I'm glad it worked on Sunday. And then I don't know how long it's been since. He's like, okay, so didn't work, didn't get a response. I can't talk to people that look like they'd peg me. What does that mean? What does someone have to look like f for them to look like they'd peg you? Asking for a friend. Where would you even find th those people anyway? Do they just walk around? And can you just give them your number or is it more discreet? I don't know. Just let me know in the comments where those people can be found. Open to anything? Does that include anal? What a start. What a start. Absolutely not. <laughs> Damn, what's your fave position in life? CEO. No, in sex. Sobs. Completely cries his eyes out. CFO. What does that mean? Well, CFO. That's what I'm saying. Chief financial officer. So your favorite position is chief financial officer. Kieran, how do you do with context clues? Not very well, obviously. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling she doesn't want to answer the question, Kieran. How can she answer twice? CEO, CFO. So... Anyway, your sex position is your favorite sex position, by the way. <laughs> I'm convinced at Christmas he would ask the same question. And when his family are like, oh, what the fuck? Anyway, are you going to open your present? He's just in the corner. So you never quite answered that question. What's everyone's favorite sex position then, huh? Grandma, how do you... <laughs> what's something you're currently obsessed with? Hey, what's up, milkers? <laughs> what? And then the fact that he's typing as well. <laughs> straight after it's like he couldn't help but get that out straight away because he's then typing straight afterwards so he couldn't 
He was like, oh, this is so good that I can't even put it in with the rest of the paragraph because it will be lost. It has to hit on its own. Imagine being asked something so innocent, like, oh, what, what are you obsessed with lately? Could be a good book. And he hits somewhere. <laughs> hey, what's up, milkers? Could breastfeed a whole village of those things. Hey, what's up, milky? Good thing I'm not lactose intolerant. Hello, queen of the lactose. <laughs> hey, lactase queen. Hey, dairy queen. How many, can I keep going? Hey, you're utterly beautiful. <laughs> hey, others. I think you should be the only one allowed to wear this color just because it looks so bad on everyone else now. It's not really, not really a compliment to them, just an insult to everyone else in the world. Green is my favorite color. It must be tough picking a favorite when they really all look good though. Haha, <laughs> good one. I'm always wearing neutrals or green. I think this person likes green. I think my power color would have to be blue, but you might look better on me than blue. That's just the, like the worst, just the worst attempt at flowing ever. Yeah, I look pretty good in blue, but I think you would look even better on me than blue. But purple might look a little bit better than you, but it would probably go purple, you, blue. Yeah, red wouldn't be too bad either. Not the menstrual kind. What did you expect my response to be? Damn, daddy, lol. I'm actually curious, how do people usually respond to a dick pic at 7.38 a.m.? That's when I'm the hardest. That's not what I asked. Okay, love, do you want to see me? Or I'm gonna go freaky for you. No, you're not too freaky for me. You're too disrespectful for my taste. What you doing? Shake my head. What? What? I'm sorry, I'm lost. I don't know which one has a dick. Or maybe they both have a dick. No, but I'm assuming only, this one gotta be the one with a dick because they're like, that's when I'm the hardest. But I'm assuming this person doesn't have a dick because they're saying, how do people respond to a dick pic at 7.38 a.m.? Oh, I just figured it out. This guy just sent them a dick pic at 7.38 a.m. POV, you're waking up at 7.38 a.m. and there's a dick on your screen. <sighs> Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. I've got such a weak stomach in the morning. <clears throat> By the way, I'm not, can you pick this up on camera? I'm not taking photos of myself. My phone's broken. I don't know what happened to it. I woke up and it was like that. So it was, uh, Apple, if you're seeing this, can you please fix my phone? Because I didn't drop it. There's nothing wrong with the screen. And I was in the bar last night, no, the night before last night. And it's in a place where you're not even allowed phones. Absolutely not allowed to take photos. There's everyone in the bar. I pull out my phone to check it in secret and it's, you could have picture in a dark room, it's pretty obvious. And my brightness was up a little bit. And the bartender goes, <laughs> hey, no photos. <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to take photos in here. Put your phone away. And I'm going, it's not, I'm not taking a photo. I'm not taking a photo. If he had ep epilepsy, he would literally be on the floor right then and then. I could have killed him by doing that. I didn't really think about it. And then there's people talking around. I thought we weren't allowed photos in here. I'm not taking a photo, guys. <laughs> my phone's fucking, have a look. Everyone fucking stare at it. Anyway, back to the dick pic at 7.38 a.m. At 7.38 a.m., not that I'd be receiving a dick pic anyway, but I'm just saying my stomach is weak. I look like a fetus because I've just crawled out of bed. I'm not in any state in the mornings. I th forget that I was even alive. Every time I wake up, I forget that I was living the night before. It's like I've just been born. I check my phone just to go through emails and stuff. If I, if a dick is there, there's a big chance I'll throw up no matter what gender I am. That's just my gag reflex. I throw up when I brush my teeth. Not throw up, I gag. S who sends a dick pic at 7.38 a.m. and then says, that's when I'm hardest? How? It's fucking cool, you morning glory. Bro, what the? I checked Facebook Messenger and I wish I hadn't. Congratulations, you're the first and only friend that I've seen on Bumble, smiley face. I was gonna send you a compliment on there when I swiped on you, but it said that I was out of compliments, so I guess you'll have to settle for a Facebook message. Smiley face. Why is the smiley face so far away from the full stop every time? What did it do? Do I win the old creepy man award for being the oldest guy to swipe on you? Winky face, equally far away. So how are you going to weed through the hundreds of guys that swipe on you every day? That must be exhausting. I'm guessing the new school year will be starting up soon for you. What the fuck? So <laughs> you recognize the fact you're an old creepy man and you know the new school year is starting up and they're in school? <laughs> It feels like this message should never have been sent. Are you a senior this year? <laughs> hey, you turning 12 this year? That must be exhausting. What are you majoring in? These nuts, maybe? I threw that in. Have you had a good summer? Are you tired of all the questions? Smiley face. Hope all is well with you. How did this, how did then he find an emoji? How did he find an emoji then? Hmm? How was that possible? What happened there? Maybe he didn't want to put so many emojis in it, so he just went out with a bang. That's weird. Why so many questions? And they're all like kind of school related. Like, did you have a good summer? It was a good half term. <laughs> How are your GCSEs going? You had your first period yet? I just hit, had my 40th birthday. <laughs> Love you to come around and check out my motorcycle. I feel like everyone has a motorcycle at that age. This is crazy. Caleb, five foot 11, 19 years old, partially owned by government. 
What? He's uh, what? less than a mile away. Can absolutely annihilate Freebird on Guitar Hero. Swipe right, Cougars, Mills, anyone with a yeah. <laughs> Toxic females, kind females, anyone who wants to hang. So he's an executioner. We should have left those guys in the Middle Ages. Six inches in boots. No, six foot in boots. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, putting your dick in boots. Dick in boots. Oh no, it's puss in boots. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. Dick in boots, puss. Six inches in boot. No, still not six. Why do I keep saying that? Hmm? So don't fumble me over height. Bruh, derp. <laughs> well, that's insane. I don't think that'll work for anyone. Do people really write these out and think, hmm, that'll get someone? <sighs> it's not getting anyone. Why is, I want to know why he's partially owned by the government. Is he a weapon? 25 years old. Fat girls will be read What? Fat girls will be read Why can't I? <laughs> They'll be read Fat girls will be redirected to McDonald's. Why would you think this would work on anyone? Even people who aren't bigger will see that and think, oh, this guy is a dick. He's not getting swiped on. Oh, he is. I don't know how Tinder works. He's getting swiped in one direction. Am I right? One direction. One di We are one direction. It's one of their songs. Apparently, if you get in the bath with your dog to thoroughly remove fleas, you're into bestiality. Wait, what? Hi. Bumble from Kevin. Do people even be called Kevin anymore? Who's giving birth and thinking, Kevin, that's what I want to know. I think he's just a minion, isn't he? Isn't Ke Kevin the minion guy? Yeah, how are you doing? Sends pictures of dog in bath. One of those basset hounds with the big ass ears. Good, haha. <laughs> Thoroughly dis disinfecting myself after having to get in the bath with a dog. She's so covered in fleas and I felt bad, so I was like, fuck it. I'm getting in and picking them off her. Probably makes it sound like I'm gross, but she had fleas. Had to help her sister out. So you have sex with a dog. <laughs> what? No, what the fuck? I got in the bath with her so I could get the fleas off. <laughs> One, it's kind of weird that you pop up on someone. It's like you planned for this to be your like pickup line, the whole picking dog, flea dogs things off. Cause you're like, hi, Bumble. Yeah, how are you doing? Boom. Oh, I don't know, just currently picking the, all these fleas off my dog in the bath. Weird thing to do, but then <laughs> Kevin's like, does he genuinely just not know what fleas are or something? So you have sex with a dog. That's what you get for calling your kid Kevin. He's gonna turn out like that, I think. No offense to any Kevins out there, though I've already said it all now. Does she have fleas now that she got in a bath full of fleas? Oh, there's more to it. There's more to this. I was scared. She said I got in the bath with her so I could get the fleas off. Okay, that's fucking disgusting. Where are you from? Why would you think that? Sorry, where are you from? I mean, do you? Like, why would your mind go there? <laughs> Let's forget about that. Where are you from? I just, mm, huh? How is Kevin so, he said, where are you from three times? He's not getting the point. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to make a joke and it just didn't land. And he's like, anyway, where are you from? Sorry, where are you from? <laughs> Hoping to move it on. You can't move it on. She's not letting it go. I'm just kind of nauseous now. <laughs> are you telling me where you're from? <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Kevin, why don't you just deal with the conversation at hand first and then get to that? <laughs> I'm asking why would you assume that? Man, I don't know. Like, what about what I said would lead you to that? OMG. Why is Kevin using a girl emoji? Are you into that or something? No, I'm not, lol. I think he's genuinely just kind of stupid, to be honest. Because then to say, where are you from four times in a row, it's kind of crazy. What the fuck? Is that... I don't know what to say. How is that one of your pictures? In fact, she's taking her mask down a little bit as well. <laughs> it's definitely me, guys. Not faking it. She's on her deathbed and I'm there right by her side. That's crazy. Update on OnlyFans, creep. Do you have an OnlyFans? No. Do you sell nudes? No, lol. Not even without your face? Not even then. Okay, I'd cash up you $100. Nah. Yeah, he's trying. So I asked, lol. Okie dokie. Well, I don't, so... Sorry, buddy. Bro, this is creepy as fuck. What's, what photos he send? He's using someone else's photo, basically. Why do you pick a hair loss one? I guess he thought he'd never get found. From Martin. We both know you won't and can't do for me what I deserve. White females don't care about anyone, especially half black men. So you must be here because you think I'm going to fuck you. I swiped on you mistakenly while speed swiping. You just admit to speeding, you're getting pulled over. Not pulled off, unfortunately for you. What a weird thing to do. Imagine what the fuck is going through his head. He swipes on someone, oh fuck, I swiped a white girl. Let me just correct this mistake. You really thought I wanted to fuck you, didn't you? <laughs> I was speed swiping, I was actually speeding. And I was five times over the limit whilst doing this, by the way. The moment you reply with anything remotely negative or emotional, unmatching without reading and your messages disappear once you unmatch so don't bother trying to get the last word in and leaving what martin i feel like they should just show the profile picture just show us don't hide martin but if she replied with hey martin how are you <laughs> you just crack on pretend nothing happened <laughs> i'll give you a chance i guess purebred aryan super soldier okay that's already just fucking insane i'll pick you up in my ufo and we can go to 
Agatha, what's that? Is that what you call your dick? Is he, is that a sniper? Lifestyle, dog. Okay, carnivore. Is this guy actually a dog? Basics, unvaccinated. <laughs> Well, he's definitely something about me. For those looking for romance, come on, take the gamble on me. A bit on the spectrum, but don't worry, it's the fun side. I'm studying to be a therapist since I was always the friend group therapist. If we match, you'll probably have a ring on your finger in about three-ish years, just saying. I will make you us a play, us a playlist. Try and stop me. For those looking for friends, hookups, friends with benefits, yeah, sure, I guess we can. I'm good in that sense. Rather have a girlfriend though. Surprising thing about me is I know a place where they won't ID you for alcohol if you're into that. So, AKA, I know a place where they won't ID you for alcohol if you're underage. This might be America. In America, you have to be 21 to drink. If it's England, that's fucking creepy. You have to be 18. So anyone under 18, he knows a spot for you if this is English. And in that case, he's a pedo. I love sex and I have one kid and I want a man with a huge cock. <laughs> Sorry, when something applies to you, you just giggle like automatically. And some lube and I'm using dildos and I'm used to dildos and I will send feet pics, send nudes. Five foot active graduate degree, frequently drink, never smoke, woman relationship, have and don't want more kids, Christian. How the hell is that Christian? Can you be a Christian and say, I want a man with a huge cock, use protection and some lube. Can you do that? She just did somehow. Gunther, parents set him up for failure. Avid milp enthusiast, what is avid milp? Oh, avid. <laughs> I thought that was avid. Oh, it's probably MLP, not milp. What's MLP? It's gotta be play at the end. It's gotta be something creepy. Milk. Lactating play? Can I, shall I search? I'm gonna search it. My Little Pony. Okay, so it's either Spanish for suck it or My Little Pony. It does follow with I've seen all the movies like 10 times each, so I'm gonna go and suck it. Mostly just on here to get my willy wet, but could just be open to long term. <laughs> Who says willy above the age of eight? It's like when you hit nine, willy is no longer in your phone Mostly on here just to get my willy wet. Have you tried showering? Try that, or a wet wipe. <laughs> Preferably type is Japanese American. She must like anime. Let me make you my waifu. Waifu. I don't know. In interesting. Yeah, interesting. Matt. A, t a picture of a tongue as your profile picture is crazy. Or one of your pictures is insane. Because you just know this is being followed up with something about licking. And that's like his whole thing. You just know Matt is just uses his tongue a lot and talks about it a lot. He's the sort of guy, you ask him a question, he just goes. Looking for a new friend who wants to be licked. As simple as that. I don't need anything in return. Just love doing it and want to do it regularly. <laughs> when, whenever you want it. Okay, Yoshi. Unfortunately, that's fucking weird. Sorry about that. What the fuck is this? Absinthe. It's, it's not a name. Hello, my name is Absinthe. I'm 20 years of age. I love to do people things. I love to do people things. I like to drink water, eat warm meats, and many more. I enjoy the presence of humans and the noises they emit from their mouths. So it looks like a skinwalker has <laughs> found Tinder. And on that note, I'm gonna end it there because I've maybe we're all cursed now. I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. So I don't think any single one of these people deserves to walk free. I think they're all arrested under the horny police department, which I'm head of, pardon the pun. We use pink fluffy handcuffs, by the way. If you get the joke, let me know. No, actually, that was, that was more of a joke, by the way. That sounded more, more creepy. It's not supposed to be. Thank you for watching the video. Keep an eye out there. If you're on dating apps, avoid everyone. Don't get into conversations with anyone on there. Instead, meet people on your local train, preferably the late one. There's no weirdos on the late train. Get on the late train and find someone new. Thanks for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe, comment something, comment absinthe if you got this far and share this to your family group chat. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, but before the next one is out, you might as well watch the one which is over my face right now, because this one is also good. Try it. Click it.